Here we are in Visual Studio for Mac, and we're now going to create our first Xamarin Forms application. So let's go ahead and click on either File New Solution or go to New Project, and navigate to the Multi-Platform section. Under that, there's a tab that says App. Now, inside the Application section for Xamarin Forms, we have two templates. We have a Forms app and a Blank Forms app. We're going to choose a Blank Forms app just so that there is not as much starter code. We'll click on Next. And this wizard is a little bit different than what you're used to in Visual Studio. So the first thing you have to do is give it a name. So I'll call it First App. And then we have the Organization Identifier. This is just how we uniquely identify this application. And this is commonly in reverse DNS notation. So you can see com.xamarin and then dot first app because that's my name. Then I can choose my target platform. So here I'm going to leave the defaults of Android and iOS. And then finally we choose our shared code strategy. So in Visual Studio for Mac, currently we have a portable class library and a shared library. Now, if you're coming from Visual Studio, you may notice that, that Visual Studio on Windows actually uses a .NET standard library. And this is going to come to VS for Mac, but it's just not there yet. So we'll use a portable class library instead. And then finally, I can choose whether or not I want to use XAML for my user interface files, which I'm going to leave as its default value of VS. So I'll click Next. You can see once again my project name, my solution name. I can choose where I want to save this project. And then I'm going to click Create. Now once Visual Studio for Mac is done creating the projects, you'll see in the Solution Explorer something that looks very similar to your Solution Explorer on Windows and Visual Studio. And you can see here we have three projects being created. We have our portable class library. This is where we're going to put the majority of our code for a Xamarin Forms application. We have our Android and our iOS native projects that's, that are going to tie into that portable class library to build the native applications. Now, just like what we saw on Windows and Visual Studio, Xamarin Forms is shipped as a NuGet package. So you always want to make sure it's up to date. So you can go through all these projects and go into the packages folder and just right click on Xamarin Forms and click update just to make sure it's up to date. So once you do that, you're ready to start building your Xamarin Forms application. So now it's your turn to go ahead and do this.